Hello and welcome everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Today I'll be playing yet another episode of Victors and Vanquished. Uh, this one is featuring more Vikings, called the Ironside, in the year 859. We do have an achievement here where we're uh, trying to recruit all the heroes. Let's go ahead and get started here, shall we? In the year 859 CE, Björn, son of Ragnar, crossed into the tideless sea. He raided Muslim Spain before wintering on the southern coast of the Frankish land. There he waited for the onset of spring and the start of the raiding season. A force like no other was about to descend on the shores and coastal cities of the Mediterranean. The Vikings had come. Right, nice, short, simple in intro. Our main objectives here are to destroy the wonders in Rome, Cordoba, Tunis, and Paris, and to find the heroes uh, Hvitserk, Haraldur, Hastein, and Rollo, and to have 5,000 gold. We can also explore for secondary objectives. Alright, so tell us that we begin with a population limit of just 25, but advancing in ages grants you more population as well as access to improved units. Raids are dangerous, particularly when Bjorn has few men. Keep your raiders close to the shore so they can run to the boats when overwhelmed. It is always better to live to raid another day. All the great Viking sagas must have heroes. Finding uh, Hvitserk, Haraldur, and Rollo will greatly strengthen Bjorn's expedition. Each hero enables the training of unique units. Bjorn enables Huskarls, Hastein Berserks, Hvitserk, Tarkins, Haraldur, Throwing Axemen, and Rollo, World Raiders. Your scouts report that Bjorn begins on the southern coast of France. His friend Hastein has left to raid a nearby island. North of Bjorn is Francia and Sion, ruled by the heirs of Charlemagne. They fight as infantry, throwing axemen, and cavalry. Southeast is Italy in blue, where rich cities founded by the ancient Romans are defended by archers and spearmen. The southern portion of Italy is contested by the Roman Empire in purple, who have great cities further to the east. Their infantry, skirmishers, and cataphracts are all that remains of the old legions of Rome. Further south and across the sea, uh, across the sea are the Moors of Ifrichia. Ifr Ifr I don't even know. I've probably been butchering all of these pronunciations. I apologize. In orange, clinging to the coastlines and islands of the southern sea, they ride camels into battle and hurl javelins from horseback. West of Ifrichia are the peoples of the southern desert called Kutama in green. They are fierce warriors who fight on foot with curved blades. Finally, to the west is Kurtuba in yellow, jewel of the Muslim world. The most dangerous warriors of these lands are light cavalry and cavalry archers. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Winter has ended and the raiding season has begun. The Viking raider Hastin has already begun attacking the nearby island of Corsica. Bjorn must raise a war band to join the Viking raider. Bjorn has no time to waste. He must reach Corsica to the south before Hastin carries away all the island's riches. Uh, okay. It seems like we're supposed to go somewhere. Let's, uh, research. No, we can't. We're in the Dark Age. Gotcha. Um. Or short the food to get to the next age. Can't even build more transports yet either. And we only have a pop limit of 25. Alright, here's our boy Hastin. By destroying buildings, the Viking raiders will pillage enough gold to enlarge and improve their war bands. Monasteries provide the most gold. Okay, seems nice. I think our initial priority here to, should be to get as much food as possible to get to the next age. We're already near our pop cap. Already found one of the heroes. But Vikings cannot eat gold. Bjorn must make sure his villagers and fishing ships collect resources. With enough food and gold, he will be able to advance in ages at the town center.
queen. Okay, Each age farms. unlocks new technologies, more villagers, and access to improved warbands with new units. For example, in the castle age, Bjorn can train Huskarl. The world is yours, Bjorn, son of Ragnar. Yours to raid, pillage, and conquer. Alright, I thought there might have been a time-gated uh, objective here, but I guess it's just encouraging us to head south to conduct the first raid. Looks like this will be a raiding-themed map as well. Similar to Ragnar, which we just played. Chronologically, it looks like all the Viking missions are going to be pretty much consecutive. Might get myself burned out on Vikings, but I am dedicated to the consecutive grind here. Got nine soldiers here. Single longboats. Okay, the enemy here has elite skirmishers. That's fine. Okay, this priest is red, but not actually one of ours. He's an ally. So let's go back and heal, since our infantry doesn't seem to be able to heal on its own. We can probably tech, uh, target this this island here as the second second island. I only saw the three skirmishers, so it might not be too scary. Also, this uh, basilica of Saint Denis might be. So two uh, that basilica might be touching us from land, so. Be aware of that too. Let's get a second transport ship online. The great Viking hero Rollo might be nearby. He was last seen raiding the Franks and Moors from a hideout in the Pyrenees Mountains. Yeah, let's look for let's look for Rollo here. Okay, our new objective is also to find some princesses and bring them to the Wonder as well. Villagers and a fishing ship have arrived. Very good. Kind of you to join us. Let's uh, pick up scale mail armor here. Let's have our soldiers move up in our landlock portion for now. We can attack these guys next. Let's have uh, this transport ship go pick up our friends over here. Doesn't seem like we can produce any new villagers. Let's do forging tech as well. Let's get one scout cavalry online. Looks like we got some hurtables. Let's bring the hurtables here. In mining camp. With a stone mine. Don't really feel the need to mine that stone just yet. But we might later on. Let's bring the scout up here. Okay, what else can we pick up here? We'll do horse collar, even though we might not need it right away. We might want to invest in farms later on. So might as well get it before I forget. Can I build more warships? I build galleys. I'm gonna see if I can avoid building galleys and instead. Skip straight to the castle edge to start getting longboats online. Yeah. 
We only need to wait for the food. So, we can just chill for a little while. There is a blue monastery here to pillage. Pillage it. It might trigger a reaction from blue here. Let's see if it does. Yes, it does. This looks like a bunch of spearmen, though. Nothing too scary. Just one spearman. They're gonna need to do better than that if they want to deter us. Alright, I got us a big chunk of gold. What's this? Just the ruins? Alright, no biggie. We are able to build fish traps. I don't want to just scout Blue's area for now. Don't necessarily want them to want to fight them, rather. Win. Billek. And we already have an archery range and a blacksmith and a stable, so we'll be able to advance as soon as we have Andrew food. Lots of wolves in this area, should make note of that. Be careful not to bring any villagers over there. Witzirk once ventured into the lands of the Rus, where he fought among the Slavs and horse peoples. He is somewhere in these eastern lands. Alright, Mr. Scout. <laughs> there we go. We found our man. Okay, Zerk spotted. That is a castle. Okay. Duly noted, we will leave you alone for the time being. Let's get to the castle age. Yeah, I don't wanna... I definitely don't wanna piss off purple just yet. I feel like they're probably stronger than Italy. Uh, however, I will invest into scale barding armor a little bit. That's fine. I'm Bunch of wolves chasing us. Oh, I do not like that. That's terrifying. We gotta kill this guy for sure. Okay, that was lucky. Okay, we'll invest in skill barding armor here. Let's have these villas start going for deer. Okay, that's a lot of enemies. Let's uh, make a tactical retreat. The units are low. We can heal them up. Another fishing ship has arrived. Very good. Let's get chainmail Ooh. armor. Yeah. You can chop. So you guys come over to the priests. We train our own monks. Doesn't look like it. Devotion does seem useful, since I know that the enemy has monks. 
and we can invest directly into longboats to raid the coast. These longboats don't seem to be modified like they were in Ragnar Saga. Let's pick up fletching for our longboats too. Ooh. Extra range. Oh, this vill's been idle this or over here this entire time. Whoops. An ancient relic guys. is hidden in an oasis in the southern desert. Find it and bring it to the wonder to melt it down to its gold. Oh, yeah. Now, can I build new docks? Is the question. Queen. Nope, I cannot build new docks. So we gotta be careful. Go over here, hunt these deer. And invest in training berserks. Let's do squires next with 100 food. Save the Berserk. We'll show on that for now. Let's have our squad of longboats come out here and start exploring the sea a little bit more. And we can probably save. Yeah, we have a siege workshop and a monastery, so we can just save for the next age. I doubt we're going to be able to build a market. Yeah, we can't build a market. This is one of those quote unquote restrictive levels. Let's do squires. This is only the militia line, not the general infantry line, so I'll hold off on this for now. Come back here and raid Francia. And slowly but surely save up for Imperial Age. Alright, this seems like a chill version of the Ragnar Saga so far. Enemies have some knights here. Enemies have many knights, so let's, uh, let's leave. Rip our scout. Okay, we'll return to our priest here. Those are just castle age units, nothing too scary. Got free wheelbarrow because we're the Vikings. Very nice. Let's do heavy plow now. Let's have you. Have farm. devotion help us here please one more volley yes no conversion very good very good 
Let's heal our units up at the priest. Still saving up for Impage. I just realized we don't have the gold either. No need to rush. Doesn't seem like our home base is under much pressure. Alright, let's fight over here. Chain Barding Armor will be our next tech. I'm not planning on training any archers. Yeah, it seems like we can't even get crossbowmen. Okay, we did lose a Tarkin to conversion. Kind of a shame, but uh, as long as we hunt the monk down, we'll still be happy. The question is, did we hunt the monk down? I'm not sure we did. Just as the Norse have heroes, so do the peoples of this tideless sea. Each faction has a warlord who can be killed to enhance Bjorn's legend. Let's have you guys mine up the stone. Fishing ships will carry the food income for now. Let's knock down the barracks. They seem to be producing more built or more units. I'm sure we'll need this stone eventually. I'm not gonna bother getting stone mining though. I don't think it's super necessary. Okay, keep focusing the barracks. That'll knock the threats out eventually here. Can we research arson? Doesn't look like we can. But looks like this island has been subjugated now by a little warband. We did lose a non-trivial number of units here. This one so far feels like a more casual version of Ragnar. We do have some better villager income. We don't need to manage our boats losing wood or losing durability and so on and so forth. The map does look a little smaller, but only marginally. It's still a pretty big map. 
But now we have the food income. We're just missing the gold. And they're producing skirmishers. Probably because we killed off the skirmishers down here. Let's take out the archery range out as well. Nice Vikings ASMR here. Not much challenge, but it's relaxing. Alright, we have resources. Let's go to the Imperial Age. Get more Berserks online here. Let's pick up Gill Nets too. You guys come kill this dog. You four can come over here and raid this small town that had the Imam. I don't know if that counts as a hero, by the way, because if it's a hero, then it did not contribute to our counter. Okay, you fellas out of gold. I don't want to wander my villagers too close to the opposite coast here. Just like that, we're to the Imperial Age. Doesn't really seem like the population limit thing was much of a big deal at all. Just raiding gold. This is like the Hun raid style mission. We're trying to accumulate 5,000 at some point. Okay, we're now able to make villagers at the TC. We'll do dry dock, why not? In fact, no, let's skip dry dock. Let's get these techs first. Keep bills coming out online. There's not that much resources to find on the map. Elite Berserks, huh? Sure. We'll have to look elsewhere. But the enemy doesn't seem to be getting any stronger either, so Francia will likely be our next target. Yeah. Ho. Yeah. Yeah. Just realize I can't even build new mills. So this mill is going to be all I get in terms of pick up and drop off location. Can't train monks either, but we can research faith. All right, let's take out Teal next. Do a bit of island raiding. I think that's just fine. Start fighting Teal over here. Red, 
Switching up Bracer Tech for longboats. Let's have these longboats scouts southwards a little bit. Siege workshops can build rams now. We'll probably need rams for this one. We don't get like super blessings or anything, so working castles down with infantry will likely not be effective. I will invest in the cap ram technology here. We can fight these guys now. We have fully upped. Imp upgrades, yeah. He got a conversion on our berserk. Oh, you made a wrong choice converting to the other side, man. Just in the class of a good boy. I do think picking up Faith is going to be on the table next. I hate getting converted by monks. One of my least favorite things. We're done exploring for second area objectives, I guess. A singular galley here on the water. Seven fifty gold for faith. Lots of monks over there. Very annoying. Yeah. Who's a smiter? Let's focus that monastery down. The Italians have five range generates a crossbows here, nine range towers. Oh my longboat said that we have nine range also. Okay, okay, okay. Point taken, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. We are leaving. They did not seem to like the fact that we attacked. No! Lost the boat. At least we know there's a castle here, holy crap. Um. Let's not go that way. Devotion 750, huh? Uh, 750 gold for devotion. Uh, I mean, I guess I can train more berserks. I think getting more soldiers here is going to be the most important thing first. Elite longboat. Plus one range. Oh yes, we do. We would like that. Maybe not now. Let's get a few light cavalry online. Okay, get in here. 
We're raiding this section now. Don't know. I really don't know what that stone is for. I guess we can build a few towers, but I don't really see a reason to do that. Okay, the enemy is getting stronger progressively. Definitely need to make a note of that. These were certainly knights before. Yeah, they're all in the Imperial Age now. Yeah, like, what's the point of... When did that happen? What's the point of my guys all being in the Imperial Age if they're all in the Imperial Age also? It's kind of bad. Here, I thought I was getting free upgrades. Guess not. We're gonna knock down this monastery here. Three hundred golden tribute. I got faith. Start training. Not Norse warriors, but elite berserks. Keep turning them out. Two man cell here is good. Let's get a few more longboats as well. Yeah, that's faith for ya. We are faithful raiders. Okay, let's also invest in a couple rams. I will invest in siege ram here. Monsters give us more gold. Smoke the monk here. Our hero units. Good. Come back here. Still just cavaliers. Not a big problem. Let's get more elite berserks. Let's get four more rams here. We are losing fishing ships. That's no good. Uh, I don't know how many fishing ships we just lost to that. But we can't build any more, so it would be inconvenient for us to lose more. Okay, I don't like fighting directly with throwing axemen on the other side, so I will back up just a little bit. Let's do dry dock, we might as well, we have the spare res. Get some more elite berserks here. We have the spare pop cap and the spare res. Oh, 
This Ram is trying his very best. Seems like the enemy will upgrade and periodically produce soldiers, but once you wipe out enough of the starting forces, they don't really do much. Let's not push directly into the castle fire with just the infantry. Let's instead, clear the west side of the river here. This looks like it's Paris by the mini Paris of the design. Lost the berserk, no. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, Ram. I, I told you to attack this monastery. Totally. Let's get three more Rams. Let's get more elite berserks. Yeah, the enemy soldiers are so easily upgraded that there's no real point in really bothering with them, but just walk out and die. Let's this castle, and we'll have one wonder knocked out soon. Got two out of the four heroes. We should remember that to get the achievement. And we'll do more elite berserks. Why not? I can see why this is a one sword mission. Viking Rampage ASMR. Definitely very easy and not challenging at all, but a nice way to relax. Just chill out. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go get a glass of water real quick. Let's do the Elite Longboat upgrade. We smash one of the wonders now. Getting tons of tribute from destroying all sorts of different buildings. Yeah, 
Okay, let's move south, clear out the rest of Francia here. Get a few more longboats out here on the water. There were soldiers here, including a monk. But... Oh, nice little kill. Faith, baby. No conversions for you. The enemies have paladins now. So they are very upset with us by looks of things. Frankish Count. I guess that's one of this, the heroes. That means this one might have might have been a hero that we need to kill, and didn't get counted because we hadn't gotten the objective yet. I'll need to mention that to the designer to confirm. Do we have a princess in this area? Oh, that is a castle. Sorry, my longships, I have failed you. I'll build a couple of replacements. Oh, wow. Uh, lots of enemies over here. Our hero was wounded and re- oh, thank you, Hastine. So they just reappear at the one huh? Yeah. What was that big thunk noise? Oh. Okay, well, if they reappear at the Wonder for free like that, then I don't really need to protect them at all. Pretty cool. Paladin, so that's cool. No princess, as promised, unfortunately. Uh, you can chop wood over here. Okay, we're probably properly cleaning these guys up now. Still able to constantly stream reinforcements here. there. How did... Where did they come through? Isn't this a sheer cliffside? Oh, I guess this is an opening, okay. Okay, that's one of the heroes. Oh, 
Ur. Vilek. It feels like the enemy is pretty strong now. Vilek. Altila Vil Bardaga. Vilek. Ja. Ur. Vin. Ur. Ja. Altila Gi. Okay, let's make sure our own reinforcements are reaching this area. Let's chill out for just a little bit. Let the enemy stream out here. I already have 4.7k gold, so I've been spending my gold pretty liberally. I'm still in fine shape here. Nice, thanks. Thanks for landing on that shore. That's totally what I asked for, Mr. Transport Man. Good job, Helmsman. Very good job. Let's go for the castle here. Pushing these rams in. Keep killing the paladins as they come out. Okay, that was looking a little spicy there, but fortunately we've got a big stockpile of resources of our own. So it isn't a big issue. Uh, what did I just get? Oh, I got a princess. Okay. That princess can come back here. Sail down and land directly with the transport ships. Fancy should be getting defeated very soon. We have spare bills, so in fact, let me bring this bill and have her. Yeah, Francia is down. Francia has been defeated. Oh. Okay, let's see. We found Sviderk, Hastin, uh, so I think we're missing either Heraldr or Rolo. I think the Wode Raider is Rolo. 500 gold, okay. Um, so we are missing Heraldr, and I don't know where Heraldr is. Is Heraldr enables throwing axes, so we definitely haven't found him. We'll just have to be careful to make sure that we find uh, find Heraldr. Who 
Okay. Vil du nok i? Ja, vil ikke. What's nice is that between fights, our berserks are recovering HP very nicely. Okay, so it doesn't seem like that was a special hero unit earlier. It seems like it was just a normal imam. Til bardaga! Vudurd! Vatur Berkmata. But he is very golden. Alright, that's fine. Let's micro our ships a little bit. No chemistry, no ballistics on these guys. So they are a little bit weaker than normal. Okay, okay. Svidrik. Fighting under that castle, eh? Okay, the mamas are very, very tanky. Okay, I think we are trading reasonably well. Not extremely well, though. That noise is like a jump scare. I mean, they, the heroes reappear at the Wonder anyway, so... I'm not worried about them whatsoever. Oh. Princess found. Okay, very nice. Okay, let's pull back, try to draw the moms out. Get more berserks over here. Get our heroes back up here too. And kind of think about where we really want to be attacking. Let's get some rams in here now. Oops. 
We need to fight there. Oh, we lost altogether too many berserks over there. That was not good. Let's keep berserk production coming. Reinforce. The seas seem very open here as well. No need for us to worry about that. You build some chop trees over here. You berserk doing this squad over here. Well, we can do a solo mission in this area. How did our berserks get drawn in over here? Let's bring the princess out here into this boat. Get a booster shot of gold. Still need to find Heralder to get the achievement. This mosque has 10,000 armor. <laughs> so it doesn't matter that we're using rams. It's only gonna take one hit of damage per shot anyway. So in this case, like a fast attacking unit is what we really need. Let's bring this princess here. This base seems to be the problematic base. Is that a hero? No, that was just a regular elite command of the Okay, 500 gold for that princess. This one is going down as well. Keep scouting the coastline here for more enemies to raid. Haraldra, inspired by love of Gida to rule Norway, raided to this coast, but was captured by the Moors. His prison is nearby. Okay, we're gonna rescue our boy and get the achievement. Rallo, you're going on a suicide mission. Burn as many houses as you can all by yourself up there. All the enemy. Distract it. Alright, so we did end up using our population over right here. It's a nice balance. I do I did find that the scaling up was a bit weird. It feels a little jank. 
Uh, it kind of makes the rating of the star feel a little less important, but yeah, the scale up does make at least this part of the mission more interesting. Whoa, that was some crazy lag just now. I love Faith. Even though we lost two of our berserks, I still love Faith. Okay, we destroyed... I thought we destroyed this wonder, but I guess... Oh no, that's a wonder building, but we're really needing to destroy this great mosque here. To get it. That was a lot of fire ships, but fortunately they got distracted by berserks. And that berserk seem to be doing a lot of damage to them. The enemy is periodically producing fire ships as well. And once we take out these docks, they should stop doing that. We are capturing tons of gold. Rollo is on a mission, my guy. Where is the prison? We will free our boy, Geraldo, our hero. He deserves to be freed. Have these ships start scouting further south. That looks like it was a hero that we just killed. Very nice. Let's go for Imam and Monk Snipes. You guys are just sitting here nicely. Okay. I love faith. I have so much faith. That's a lot of fire ships. Okay, well, Elite Longbow was a good investment then. Made us trade against these guys much better than we otherwise would have. If the conversion's coming from 
somewhere in here, then there's nothing I can do about it. Vids are just tanking the brunt of everything here. Uh, did I lose all my ships? Looks like I did. Yeah, it looks like I lost a good number of longboats there. Where is the prison? Geraldo mentioned he was getting imprisoned. Maybe it was by Kutama, so I might have to sail south to save him. What the? Okay. The enemies have been uh, stocking up. We just lost a whole hell of a lot of units super fast there. Okay, definitely need to send more reinforcements here now. Don't give him the ram, please. Thank you. And garrison our soldiers. I just realized I used a new patch behavior to put them all inside a ram by accident. Okay, send reinforcements over. Yes, Rams. Makes makes total sense what you guys are doing here. Is this area not walled? Are you able to hit it from Okay, you know what? Forgive me for doubting you. My bad. I thought I thought they were not cooking, but they were. They were, in fact, cooking. Okay, the castle's down. No more Mamelukes. Could be a major weight off of our soldiers and shoulders here. And maybe next we can do the archery range. Okay, 
You know what? I'm just gonna back up and kill these guys over here for now. Before bringing some rams over. Let's not waste our units too badly here. We have 12,000 gold though. We got gold to waste. So it's really wood that we might be short on. We can train more villages if we need to. Let's get two more villas and put them on wood. We are taking out yellow now, though, as opposed to later, because cavalry archers are annoying. So let's see: cyan, infantry, throwing axemen, cavalry. We got those archers and spearmen. Blue should be vulnerable to us. Like blue should be relatively weak to us. Um, the Roman Empire with the cataphracts is pretty scary, but the infantry and skirmisher should be fine. Camels. Camels and genitors are not that bad either. Curved blades. And light cavalry cavalry. All right, so let's move south here.
Let's keep more war bands coming. And uh, this must be the prison. So I'm hoping to get our achievements. That's our fourth hero. We have the pop to achievement. Very good. And Kurtab has been defeated. Nice. Now let's go focus on the wonders here. So this is Blue Wonder, and there's this wonder. So it seems like we don't even need to engage purple we don't want to. Is orange vulnerable to a coastal landing here? Let's see. They have fast fire ship here. Fast fire ship is scary. But regular galley is not so scary. Let's repair that transport ship. Okay, we can probably take on regular galleys without any issue here. Ja. Oh, we're out of wood. Need more wood choppers. Oh no. Yeah, we're gonna need to uh, chill it on the wood usage, I guess. We only had five wood choppers this whole time, so. Might need to put one more on wood here. I mean, we could always transfer to this side and get more efficient wood chopping. Green. Yeah. Ooh, yeah.
ಔತ್ತಿಲಾಗಿ Okay, we just finished our landing here. Destroying enemy docks. Let's smash this castle here. And this ram smash this dock over here on the left. Bring reinforcements into our new transports here. Berserk's coming on. Okay, let's get another landing over here as soon as possible. Okay, three orders down. Yeah. Yeah, a couple more to go. Okay, now we only have this wonder left, the Frankish one. Not sure if we'll be able to land easily from the water here. Might be a tall order. First landing could be a bit tricky. Timber Hoffandi. Yeah, 
Okay, here's the thing. If we go for blue now, I don't even think we need transports. I think these guys can just go home. We just go home and uh, walk across the mountain range here. And make a direct assault. Just, uh, just via land. In fact, I'm going to do just that. All my brave soldiers here do not need to be here anymore. They just go home. We don't need to defeat Orange. We just need to destroy through the Four Wonders. Green can live. Orange can live. Their fast fire ships can live. And, uh, we'll just push ahead here. And get our boy sent home. We have 14,000 gold. I don't foresee us running out of gold anytime soon. Wait. Oh wow. We're able to walk through here? Oh, did you look at that? Okay, skirmishers, spearmen, who cares? Yeah, let's get in the boats so we can send you home. We have our full population fighting on our behalf here. It's gonna be a messy grind fest until we bust ourselves in. But once we do bust ourselves in, it'll become much easier pickings. All these skirms will melt. The knights won't stand a chance. The pikes won't stand a chance. We are well suited to fighting this enemy. Oh, it turns out this isn't the main city. Gotcha, the main city is further down. Whoops! My bad. Yeah, 
These war galleys are tickling us. Not really much to say here. We can still hug the west coast here to avoid getting harassed by them. But we are making progress towards the one now. Let's just keep walking down this nice path. So we got 2100 HP. Okay, you guys want a path weird? Fine. But I'm going to drop my guys over here. This is such a brutal choke point, man. through by force using the siege rams oh my god this is such an ugly an ugly ugly area to fight for us we are losing units like crazy are slowly making like brutal inroads. The berserks are much stronger fortunately. Might be more efficient to transport. The pathing is getting kind of stuck here for uh, our fresh guys. What are these rams? Where are these rams getting stuck on? Do the aqueducts? I guess they have a hidden modifier to not just not take any damage. I take only one damage per ram hit. So I've got no choice but to go through the difficult way. That being said, victory should be ours very soon. Okay, and that'll probably be the last bit of this mission here. Faith did end up coming in handy, if only to 
monsters would be less annoying. Just hate having monks convert my guys, especially AI monks. But yeah, victory is ours and we've begun free play. Because we've done the achievement already, I don't really feel a need to uh, continue this. We'll just take a look at the map afterwards. Björn's daring raid into the Mediterranean opened a new world to the Norse. They would return over the coming decades. In time, their reputation as warriors would make them prized mercenaries. Some Norse would even serve the Byzantine Emperor, forming an elite bodyguard called the Varangians. Centuries later, Norsemen known as the Normans would conquer Sicily, creating a brief kingdom that blended Norman, Greek, Italian and Islamic customs. But this was far in the future when Björn sailed home after his raid. Though many lost warriors feasted in Valhalla, those that returned to the Norse lands were so laden with riches that they never had to raid again. Raiding is good. Remember, killing and pillaging is good. It is cool, so long as you have beards, and you are able to tell a funny story. I like how the map looks geographically accurate. That's cool. Uh, let's see, what is there for green here? So, yeah, some Shotel Warriors as I expected. Um, the relic is all the way down here. You can capture that if you want. I think these are like raidable locations from orange. Uh, all right, they had a princess here, some more docks as well. However, no more fire ships. Lots of purple on this side as well. Not sure what this stuff here is for. But I didn't want to fight cataphracts with berserks. I don't think it would have performed well, so... I just decided to not do that, and it turned out pretty well for me. Ah, I see. Orange still had a base over here. That's wild. What the heck? They're like sharing, sharing a base with blue here, living side by side. All right, so this is yet another raiding base mission. We will have a small villager economy, but it'll never really come under any attack. And you only need the economy insofar as to replenish your forces consistently at the Warrior's Hold. You can use all sorts, of, all sorts of different units, but I find that the Berserks are the coolest and they work the best overall because they can regen HP. I think uh, if I had to do it again, I might mix in some Throwing Axemen as well just to have some range damage pro projection, um, but it's not very crucial. It's a nice, fun mission. Uh, we'll say I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more if I didn't play it right after Ragnar, but you know how it is. The price you pay for chronological order. I think the next one that we play will be Fine Hair, which I've done on this channel before. So I already know that's going to be another grindy Vikings one, but I, I do enjoy these missions. Uh, I do think they are... Not like very challenging or anything like that, but uh, you know, thematically kind of cool. And raiding here and there is also pretty fun. Anyway, my name's been the Clever Fool. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.